Hey everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. I am about to head out to run some errands looking like a straight up hobo, whatever, wearing my husband's cut off cami pants, which don't even fit me and fall down and stuff, I don't care. You should see me in my real life, people. I live as comfortably as possible because why would I bind myself up in all kinds of things just to walk around the planet without being able to breathe or to speak? No, I ain't got no makeup on. I think I brushed my hair. I could be wrong, but I'm comfortable. I want to live in the flow of it all. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm about to leave. I'm about to go do some errands looking like a fool in these streets, but I wanted to talk to you about talk to you about something very, very important. See, something's happening in my life right now that is so exciting. It is so exciting. And it's something that my husband and I have visioned together. Sometimes you have partners, right, who understand what it is you're trying to accomplish or understand what the goal is, and you can combine your energies together and truly the, the energy of your vision and your visualization in order to create a thing together, co-creatively, co or in collaboration. Well, my husband and I have been at work visualizing something really wonderful and awesome, but what I wanted to tell you is we haven't told anybody about it. We haven't told anybody about it, and we won't tell anybody about it until it's established, until it is, as Neville Goddard likes to say, a concrete fact. It's been outpictured. What we created within us has been outpictured or become an objective reality, an object that we can actually look at, touch, and feel in our reality. When it's objectified, I'm going to let you know about it, and I'm going to say, Praise the Lord, it happened. Yay, I'm excited. And this is such a win for me. But until then, I'm not. And here's why. When you create something in the imaginal mind, with your imagination, your visualization, you, you develop it. You feel it. You live within the visualization of it. When you give it life through feeding it your emotions and your vibration, what you're actually doing is creating a form, an energetic pattern and a form. You just can't see it with your human eyes, but your intention has created it. Your feelings have created it. And the more you, you sit with that visualization, the more you develop it, the more energy and, and good vibes that you pour into it, the more this form, this pattern begins to grow and the more opportunity it has to become outpictured in your reality. However, if you run out and tell 10 people about this cool thing you're visioning for yourself, this wonderful opportunity that you're going to create in the ether and that you can just see it right now and I'm developing it, I can see it, this is what it looks like. If you tell people that, you give them the opportunity to hook their energy to that. By describing that thing that you're trying to create, by sharing your personal information about this thing with other people, you are opening yourself up to having that pure creation muddied or modified by the energy of someone else. For example, we all know people who, when we say, hey, I've got this bright idea, are the first to say, yeah, well, I don't think that's going to work because X, Y, and Z. Or we might know people who, will, who would say, yeah, I hear what you're saying, but you remember the last time you tried something fantastical and you fell on your face and you failed? That's energy. That's a transmission that they're giving to you. Still, there are others who will hear about our bright idea or the thing we want to create, and they'll act like they're supportive, but unconsciously, this might actually trigger them. People who haven't achieved in their own life a level of success that they wanted to often hear about someone else's success or what someone else is inspired to create and have a reverberating negative reaction within themselves and it's because they haven't done it themselves or they don't feel worthy enough to do it on their own and here you are chasing your dreams and while they might smile and say well wow that's great inside they're signaling they're sending you this energy, and this energy is being hooked into that thing that you just pointed their interest to, your creation, your beautiful visualization, the dream that you have for your life. 
You have to be really careful. You have to be really careful about who you share this kind of information with. I recommend nobody at all. I'm the only person I share things with is my husband, and my husband isn't really uh, in this. He's not on the same page as I am in terms of spirituality. I'm, I'm sure you guys know that. I've, I've mentioned that a million times, but he has the capacity to dream with me. He has the capacity to see something and to feel what it is that I'm really excited about it and to amplify that and hold space for that. So he's a great collaborator for the work that I do. There are other people in my life who I am very close to and I trust with my life that I actually don't share things with because they might not understand the ins and outs of what it is I'm trying to create. They might not really get the vision and their simple misunderstanding of it as they point their interest to it there's simple confusion around it as they consider what it is that I am doing has an opportunity to change the energy of it because that's the nature of the energy. Energy talks to energy. We are creating through energy something that we want to manifest. It's got a form. And if you allow other people to talk to your energy, that energy has an opportunity to change your energy. So if you're sitting on something right now, a really great idea. You've been creatively inspired, you've received a download, or you have a brilliant, brilliant plan, keep it to yourself. If you tell anybody, it's got to be somebody who loves you and has your back and is ride or die for you, who wants you to succeed, who loves you no matter what. Otherwise, don't say a word. Keep the beautiful creation, that thing that you're inspired to create in collaboration with spirit and the higher self. Keep that between you and spirit and the higher self. Keep it pure. Keep the momentum going. And when it has roots, when it's been established, when we have a foundation at the very least and it's being outpictured into the reality, then you can tell your, your friends about it. Then you can tell your family about it because it's already been established. But until then... Boop. Don't say a word. This is your baby, and so protect it.